Let's talk about heartbreaking news. You know, Panna had been killed. That was long ago. And his dead body, Hap Rutin, was found on 26th August. So after 5th of August, he had been absconding, you know, all over Bangladesh. Army League leaders, MPs, ministers, they all were trying to go away to India or they were absconding, they were hiding themselves. So Panna was also hiding and he tried to go to India. So even when he could not, uh, he, he, I, he was able to hide himself, nothing happened to him. But after getting inside India, he was killed. So a similar story I have got for you when I was working with WHO World Health Organization. I was working for an Australian lady who had been living in England before coming to Bangladesh. She is Louise Koza. She was 29 years old. She was pretty, absolutely pretty. And we were about to die. We were about to jump from the boat. When we returned from a Chor area in Bhola district, it was near Chor Passion. We were crossing the river by boat. At the time, a storm uh, broke out. And what happened is that we were having life jackets and were waiting for the signal when we had to jump in the river. So we had to cross the river if we had to jump. So after we were saved, nothing happened, we somehow saved. So, and then I asked Louise Koza, what was she thinking? She said that she did not worry about swimming. And the river had a lot of gorgeous heather, jungle a lot on the bank of the, along the bank of the river, Tetulia River, right? So the Tetulia River had a lot of sharks and a lot of other things it's really terrible so she said that she could have managed to get a show by swimming because her brother was a surfer in Australia she was a good swimmer but she was thinking of something different when she gets across the river it was dead night and it was a place barren land full of jungle and all these things there were miscreants there were decoys there were dangerous people, rapists. So she, how could she be saved? She must have been uh, raped by so many people. He, she must have been killed. So even when she gets ashore, a I was thinking, how can I swim back to the shore? And she was thinking, if I get back to the shore, how can I survive? That was the question. The same thing happened here. Uh, this gentleman, was trying to hide himself and he was trying to get away from Bangladesh so that she, he could get in India and he could be in a safe, safe place. He managed to get out of Bangladesh. It was one and one and a half kilometers inside India from the border. He was safe. But what happened? He was caught by the miscreants. In the beginning we heard that he died of uh, cardiac arrest. It is reasonable because he was in intense situation. So it's very easy to get cardiac arrest. He was killed and there was a post-mortem report and it said that he had lack of oxygen because of the shortage of oxygen he was killed. So he was dead. It's because he had cardiac arrest, he died, and there was another allegation that Indian police could fire, but there was no fire, scar, nothing like that. But there were scars of beating, right? So later it was said by the post-mortem report that he was throttled to death without oxygen. But later it was found that some miscreants must have killed him, throttled him to death, choked him to death without oxygen you know such a brutal killing and he had also scars of I mean, fighting or beating like that so what i'm going to tell is that even when he fled away from bangladesh still he could not survive so even when louis Koza could have got assured by swimming she would not be 
saved because there are miscreants, there are rapists, there are other people because she was a beautiful Australian lady, foreigner. Hmm? So here in Bangladesh, you see after 5th August, all the Amelit uh, people have been absconding. They have been killed. They have been in terrible situations. A lot of houses were burned. Shakib al Hassan. Uh, if you find he's not a good person, I'm quite agreed. There are many allegations he might have against. True. But the thing is that he just got nomination uh, and he just got elected. He became MP parliament member. And the election was on 7th January. That's just seven months ago. He wanted to become MP previous time, but Sheikh Hasina said that you play, don't come to politics right now. So he refrained from getting into, but Mushpigur uh, Mushpi, I mean, uh, that is. Uh, uh, Mashrapi attended, Mashrapi became the parliament member at that time and next time he also became parliament member. So his two-story building have been, has been burned, uh, Shakib al hassan has been in America, a lot of allegations, a lot of problems, murder case against Shakib al hassan and all allegations, right? And he's been a great footballer. Uh, Kiketa. He's been one of the most important all-rounders. He's comparable to many other all-rounders. He bowls not so much, but he bats much better. But you have found that his bowling is fantastic. His batting is much more fantastic. He suppose there are three runs to win the match and one ball remaining. Shakib Hassan made a four boundary. That's how Bangladesh won. It's such a huge success. So he has a lot of contributions to Bangladesh. So he is subject to be pardoned, excused because of so many contributions he had. And politically he was not involved in anything because he's been just MP, MP for seven months. Hmm. His family lives in America, his wife, Shishi lives in America, he has also children and children of every two, Sheikh Hasina, as if Sheikh Hasina's grandchildren, right. So, Master Pibin Murtuza, he'd been working very hard as we see in media, very difficult to say what kind of corruption he did. Probably he did no corruption, he tried his best to serve the people and people loved him, I know. So, because it's something, it's a kind of group, it's a kind of body. Whole Ameli people are in a body. That's why all people are against his house burned to ashes, his glasses, and all these things were burned, shattered. Right, Mashrafi bin Murtuz, a two story building, such a beautiful one, has been shattered. And Pedos, he's a, you know, he's a hero. He's, a, he's an outstanding hero, the best hero in Bangladesh. His two-story building was also burned into ashes. He just got MP seven months ago. And we don't find anything political that was destructive to the country, subversive to the state, nothing like that. Ria is another hero, you see, very handsome, the best hero at one time. Shabnu was uh, her co-actress and she just elected in January. So for such a short period of time, he was caught, you know, he was trying to get away from Bangladesh. He was caught in uh, the Shah Jalal International Airport and he's in the custody. Probably he's had nothing to do with the uh, with Bangladesh, any damages to Bangladesh, everything is fine. But as she, he was nominated with the help of Sheikh Hasina and he's nominated as an army league MP, people are against him. So there are so many brutality things, a lot of destructive things. It's quite right, very traumatizing. So we should be refrained as we, let's talk about 71, a lot of damages. So when a war takes place, a lot of damages 
can take place at the same time a lot of killing blood shedding so many things right but there's a purpose that if pakistan is ousted that bangladesh can get much better even when bangladesh lost a lot of lives a lot lost a lot of wealth but still in compensation we can find that bangladesh can get much better so in this uh, students protest uh, that started on 16th of july and it ended on 5th of august uh, when sheikh hasina fled to india or he, she was bound to flee to india by the help of the army chief worker jaman right so after that a lot of money wasted a lot of damages took place maybe 100 crore maybe 1000 crore money has been lost or wasted or damaged a lot of houses and so many many people died many people lost eyesight broken legs and so many disasters as you, everybody knows so in return what we can guess is that bangladesh can get a very good leader the bangla bangladesh will flourish a lot 1000 crore taka is very little compared to the improvement that's coming up that very difficult how can you guarantee that uh, some other leader is getting bangladesh to a next level very stand standard very difficult so maybe next election maybe next leaders maybe even more corrupt we cannot guarantee but in case of pakistan what we understood that everybody thought that even when a lot of people died lot of damages took place but in return eventually we will gain will flourish will prosper true but this time a lot of damage a lot of people died lot of things happened but can we guarantee that bangladesh is getting even better bangladesh is getting even better leader than sheikh hasina and sheikh hasina's fallen members ministers and all the supporters all these activists like that very difficult so it's not that easy to understand whether bangladesh is even going for going to the next level very difficult but it is quite certain that a lot of money has been wasted a lot of damages took place a lot of people killed a lot of things happened all these things but we can expect bangladesh is getting better is improving everywhere law and order will be even better system will also get better things will be fine so we should be restrained from all these damages killing and beating and all these untoward incidents so this is how bangladesh can prosper bangladesh can do very good bangladesh can be one of the richest best livable countries in the world that could be the wish we can have that's it for now thanks for watching